So Cold War Mobile is out but only in Australia. I installed it for some reason the games keep crashing. But it turns out it's not only me. Many Android users and few iOS users have been facing the same issue. But why is this happening though? Is the problem from the phone or from the game? It turns out the game is mostly optimized for iOS users. But we've gotta remember this is the beta test, not the actual game. The soft launch is gonna be more optimized for Android users so that lower devices can run the game smoothly. But why are we here today? So a lot of you guys who watched my previous video asked questions if their devices could run was on mobile. Well today, we're going to find out. I might ask if Poco X3 Pro could run was on mobile. Well, let's check out the specs. The phone has a chipset of Snapdragon 860, has um, 6 to 8GB of RAM, then runs on Adreno 640, so of course the phone will run without problems. Next up, we have from Nico. It says all well, about Realme 8 5G. Um, with MediaTek Dimensity 700, 8 gig RAM and um, 1 gb 8 gig storage. I think it will definitely work. I mean, the specs you just give me uh, enough for the game to run. Can Redmi Note 9 run the game smoothly from Keshava? Um, Redmi Note 5. Let's first of all check the specs. Redmi Note 9 have a chipset of Helio G85, 6 gb RAM, 128 gig, and runs in Mali G52 MC2. It's going to play the game but it's not going to play smoothly so there will be lags okay and what about realme 10 with mediatek helio g99 from nico realme 10 with mediatek helio g99 of our chipset 6-8 gigabytes of ram 128 gigabyte of storage and Mali G57 MC2 renderer. This phone should have no problem running the game but be sure to know that there is going to be lags and the final question from Villager num 187 what about S8? Well, for Samsung phones, if you are using a Snapdragon chipset, you are good, your phone is going to run the game. However, if you are using an Exynos chipset, there is going to be problems because the minimum requirement for Exynos chipset is Exynos 2100, which in another word is Samsung S21 Ultra. All the S21 lineups. It even says here in the test server that S22 devices has known tech issues and is a work in progress. In other words, Samsung devices are going to struggle with this game. So no, Villager S8 isn't going to work. Yeah, the minimum requirements for all devices. Do note this is going to be applied in the soft launch. I've left a link down in the description for chipset ranking. So if you have any question and you want to know if your game or your chipset will be able to run the game, click the link down in the description and go find that for yourself. So guys, that is it for the Q&A section. On a run related note, if you are a true subscriber, you will notice I have not uploaded any video for a month now. That's because I went to camp and the camp took over 20 days. So that's why I wasn't able to make any single videos. I've been off the camp for some time now, but I've been trying to settle down and make myself comfortable. But now I'm back, I'm going to be uploading videos full time again. Every Saturday, be expecting videos. If you like this kind of content, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications. And yes, see you all in Vandask.